or till Tuesday. So is my husband. Keep him in prayer too. He's driving. And San Diego is not the funnest place to drive. <laughs> so come on, guys, find some dollars and ten dollars and hundred dollars and bring them on up. Job. Oh, you dropped one. Grab it again. Right in there. Good morning. Great. <laughs> Good morning. Go ahead and put it right in the box. You'll have to wait just a minute. We've got two more coming up here. See them? <laughs> they got the last of it coming, huh? Right in the box. And you can tuck the rest of those in with it if they're hanging out the side there. Perfect. Good job. Oh, we still have a few more. The littlest one is still coming right now. She's more interested in the people than the money. <laughs> Everybody's my friend today. Come on. <laughs> All righty. Okay, guys. Mm. There we go. All right. Guess what I got in my pan? Any ideas what you could find in a pan like this? Oh, yeah. It could be something like brownies. Mmm, they're the non-fattening kind of brownies. They really are. In fact, I didn't even have to turn the oven on to make my brownies. See? I've got a whole pan full of brown... Ease. Even a box was full of brownies. Would you like one of my brownies? Would you like a brownie? Would you like a brownie? Non-fattening. There you go. Happy April Fool's Day. Have a brownie. Would you like a brownie? How about a brownie? There's a brownie for you. Would you like a brownie? You have one? Okay. Would you like some brownies? Can you pass those to everybody sitting next to you? Can you have a brownie too? There you go, some brownies. How about a little brownie? Now, isn't that fun? I sent that to Harold this morning. I said, look what I made. And he says, oh, I'm not there to eat them. I said, well, I'll save them when you get home. You can have a brownie too. And then I said, happy April Fools. And then I guess a bunch of his, he showed it to his kids. And guess what? They made some phone calls to parents to do April Fool jokes on their parents. Have you ever had April Fool jokes on you? Well, Tom was eating his breakfast. And in comes running his sister. Guess what? We don't have school today. What Tom missed was that she had a twinkle in her eye. She said a pipe broke at school. It flooded the whole school. And we don't have school today. And Tom went, that's great. I'm going to go back to bed. And then he saw his sister's face. And she said, happy April Fool's Day. And Tom went, oh, 
he says, I'll get you later. So they had to go to school. They got everything. They went to school. And teachers are always happy when Sabbath and Sunday are April Fool's Days, to be honest with you. (laughs) Yep. Yep. So, and so it was much, but this April Fool's Day was a school day. And you know what? Tom ran into his sister in the hallway between classes. And Tom said, hey, guess what, Annabelle? And she said, what? I've heard that your class has won the math contest. Congratulations. Oh, that's great, she said. And then she stopped. She looked at him closer and said, April Fool's? Yep, April Fool's. (laughs) They got home that night, and they shared their days with mom and dad, And mom said, laughed over there, joking of each other. She says, you know, it's really interesting. Both of you wanted it so bad. You wanted not to go to school, and you wanted to win the math contest. And so you easily believed what they said, because you wanted it so bad. And dad said, you know, that kind of reminds me a little bit of people and the Bible. At times, there are people that believe things that are in the Bible, and they say all these nice things about it, but it's really not in the Bible. And, oh no, you know, we want to believe it. For example, Tom said, you mean like when somebody says everybody's going to go to heaven? That's not really in the Bible, is it? Dad said, no, it talks about those that believe in God, those that believe in Jesus. It doesn't say everybody, it says those that believe. And the only way you're ever going to know it's true is if you go to the Word of God. Jesus warned us about deceivers, and I know it's April Fool's Day. So you're going to have to be careful out there because somebody might want to trick you and give you a brownie, right? So we've got to be careful. Where should we go to find the truth about God? You've got to go back to your Bible. You have to pray. You have to learn your word of God so you don't get fooled because you want to think it's there, right? So now you can have some fun with those brownies. In fact, I may fill this box up with brownies and then sneak it into Chris's house and put it on his pantry shelf so that he can find some brownies later on. But you can ask somebody else if they'd like one of your brownies, right? So go have a good day, and we'll see you next Sabbath.